Welcome back for another tutorial on Google Slides. Today we're going to have a look at how we can create a truly interactive presentation. Start off by clicking on New Google Slides. This will open a brand new Google Slides presentation. First thing you'll want to do is give it a title. So let's title this one Interactive Presentation Tree. Now I would like to insert an image of a tree and then make it interactive by making each of the parts of the tree clickable in order to give more information. So let's go to insert image and let's find an image of a tree with roots. So let's go to search tree with roots. Now we'll find lots of images here. Select the image you would like to use. I'm going to use this image. Let's select and insert this image. Resize it. And that's it. Now in order to make a interactive presentation, you do have to do a bit of planning. So my plan is to have a clickable crown, trunk and roots and then I would like to have a video alongside this. So I'll begin by creating the clickable areas. In order to do that, go to Polyline and simply outline your first area. In this case, this is my crown. Visible, there we go, transparent. I now have a transparent polyline. I'll create a second one for my trunk. I'll do the same thing, transparent, transparent, and a third polyline for the roots. This area down here. Transparent, transparent. As you can see, I now have three shapes, all transparent. I also want a video, so let's go to Insert, Video, and let's just do a quick YouTube search on Growing Tree. Now here we have a time-lapse animation, which is exactly what I would like to use. So let's select this and insert the video. Resize it and place it alongside my presentation. Okay. The next thing you'll want to do is add the captions to these three shapes. In other words, a caption for the crown, one for the trunk and one for the roots. So let's go to text box and let's say this is a crown and let's add an arrow pointing to the crown. That's red. Let me make this a bit bigger. Increase the size of our text. Okay, and let's use red to match the arrow. Perfect. So we have a crown. Next we want our trunk. So let's go down here. Text box. Trunk. And let's increase the size. Give it a nice a brownish color and add an arrow pointing to the trunk. After that you can add your third caption which will be the roots. Roots. Let's do the same thing. Give it a nice color. Let's say this color and an arrow pointing to the roots. This will be my final slide. 
so now I can duplicate this slide so let's duplicate this slide and now we have one two three parts in our tree so we need at least three slides and then I would like to have a fourth slide which is blank here we are so our first slide will not have these arrows nor will it have any of the captions just an image of the tree with a nice video now in order to make this even more interactive we are going to go back and forth between these slides so the third slide shows us the roots well let's get rid of crown and trunk the second slide shows us the trunk let's get rid of the crown and the first slide shows us the crown so we have crown trunk roots now in order to link these slides to each other I have to select my shape and I have to hyperlink it to another slide so go to insert link and I'm going to link it to slides in this presentation so I've selected the crown I'm going to link this to my second slide which is the slide of the crown slide 2 apply let's do the same for all the other shapes again insert link slides in this presentation and link it to the third slide apply link link to slides in this presentation and let's link this to slide 4 apply now these links will work for our first slide but not yet for our third second third and fourth so in order to do that we can select our three shapes and we are just going to copy them over onto the other slides we now have a truly interactive presentation. Let's have a look at our result. Let's click on present. I can now watch the video, discuss the video with my students. I can then click on the different areas of the tree. So let's say I click on this part. It points out the crown. I click on the trunk. It shows me the trunk and I click on the roots and it shows me the roots. I can also go back and forth I can go to roots, crown, trunk. As you can see this is a great tool to create those interactive presentations. Thank you for watching. If you like this subscribe and come back for more.